We're almost two months into the new year, and many of those New Year's resolutions have fallen by the wayside. If you've tried to lose weight, but you haven't been successful, we want to talk about some different options today. Joining us is Dr. Derek Nagel from U of M Health West. And Dr. Nagel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. For patients who can't seem to reach their, their goal weight, even with diet and exercise, what other options are there out there for them? Well, that is a very common question we hear. Um, the best thing we usually talk to people about is starting with their primary care doctors, uh, evaluating their current health issues, reviewing their comorbidities, talking about their genetic predispositions to certain types of comorbidities, and then talking about different options, uh, calculating their BMI, determining the amount of weight loss that's appropriate. And a lot of people can work with their primary care physicians on these things. Um, others can work with a medically supervised weight loss program. Um, each of those options can include using weight loss medications. And then for patients that need to lose weight and keep it off long term and they've had troubles with that, uh, surgical weight loss is always an option. Uh, but the best way is to start by talking with your primary care doctor. Okay. And when and we decide to go to surgery, there are some minimally invasive bariatric surgery options. Can you tell us about them? Well, the most common surgery that we perform is called the sleeve gastrectomy. It's the most common surgery in the country. It's about 70% of the surgery that's done. Uh, it is done minimally invasively or laparoscopically, so small little incisions to do a bigger surgery on the inside. Uh, it takes about 60 to 90 minutes to do a sleeve gastrectomy. Patients are in the hospital one night. And we're basically making the stomach into a long skinny tube that's about five ounces big. Um, and after the end of a year, patients lose around 60 to 65% of their excess body weight. Wow. How often do you do this surgery? How common is it? Uh, we really only reach with surgery about 1% of people that are able to qualify for surgery. Uh, so we do a lot of work in getting our message out with medical and surgical weight loss so people know their options. So let's talk about something that I've seen a lot on social media and TikTok and just from friends. There's been a lot of buzz about the diabetes drug Ozempic being used for weight loss. What are your thoughts on this? Well, Ozempic is a new diabetes medication that is very effective um, and it also causes weight loss by increasing GI transit time and in creating satiety or a sense of fullness. Um, it was very effective in its trials. About 85% of people were able to lose about 5% of their body weight, and the average weight loss was around 35 pounds in those trials. Um, it is indicated for people with a, a BMI less than what would qualify for surgery, so a BMI around 27 with comorbidities or a BMI of 30 uh, without comorbidities. Um, and if people are interested in that, again, they should talk to their primary care doctor. Uh, they're able to prescribe it. Or if you're in a medical weight loss program like here at the U of M Health West, um, we use those medications and others uh, for medical weight loss. So it can be used for weight loss. It isn't only a diabetes drug. It is indicated for weight loss as well, mm -hmm. um, but it has to be prescribed by your primary care doctor. When it comes to surgery, what are the BMI uh, restrictions or what, what do people need to qualify for those surgeries? Uh, in general, and it, it does have to do with the type of insurance you have, but uh, the lowest BMI for surgery is around a BMI of 35 with comorbidities or a BMI of 40 without comorbidities. So when patients enroll in a surgical weight loss program, one of the first things we do is we look up your unique insurance criteria and let you know what those things are um, as far as BMI requirements and if you are required to have a medical weight loss period and really explain how the process is going to go for you. A lot of options out there for people these days. Dr. Nagel, thank you for talking to us.